aboard HMS Warrior. But for the next few minutes, we're going to celebrate Gilbert and Sullivan's masterpiece of nautical operetta, HMS Pinafore. Well, it opened in 1878 and ran for over 570 performances, which was a record in that day. But I haven't even introduced myself. Do forgive me, ladies and gentlemen. I am the first Sea Lord, Sir Joseph Porter, KCB. And a bottle of rum! I am Sir Joseph Porter, KCB. I beg your pardon, mate, but did I hear you say Sir Joseph Porter, JCB? <laughs> That's KCB, not JCB. Well, of course it is. Sir Joseph Porter! KFC! Yo, will you stop that? <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, as I was saying before, I was rudely interrupted by this grinning Neanderthal. <laughs> I am Sir Joseph Porter, and I'm here to introduce HMS Pinafore, the greatest nautical operetta ever written. No, 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 no. That's, that's not quite true, actually. I'm sorry, who exactly are you? I am the immortal Captain Jack Sparrow, Pirate King and Master of the Seven Seas. Thank you. And what is a pirate doing aboard one of my ships? I should have you thrown in the dungeon. I think you'll find it's called the Brig, mate. <laughs> I'm here. I'm here to tell you that the Pirates of Penzance is a much better <laughs> operator, uh, better operator, uh, be, better operator. Oh, don't be so ridiculous. A better operator, a better operator indeed. Uh, listen to this and tell me you've ever heard a better chorus. <laughs> Ships of beauty, we're sober men and true, and attentive to our duty. When the falls is the free or the bright blue sea, we stand to our guns all day. When an anchor we ride on the Portsmouth tide, we plenty of time for play. Ahoy, ahoy, the falls is free. Ahoy, ahoy, for the bright blue sea, we stand to our guns, to our guns all day. Give 
and guns and pen and skipping. All the ladies love the shipping. Sailors fighting, always fighting. Well, the ladies so polite. Ladies who can smile so brightly. Sailors welcome most politely. Welcome most politely. Term as office boy to an attorney's firm. I cleaned the windows and I swept the floor and I polished up the handle on the big front door. He polished up the handle on the big front door. Yeah, I polished up the handle so carefully that now I am the ruler of the Queen's Navy. He polished up the handle so carefully that now he is the ruler of the Queen's Navy. As office boy, I made such a mark that they gave me the post of a junior clerk. I served the writs with a smile so bland, and I copied all the letters in a big round hand. He copied all the letters in a big round hand. And I copied all the letters in a hand so free that now I am the ruler of the Queen's Navy. He copied all the letters in a hand so free that now he is the ruler of the Queen's Navy. In serving writs, I made such a name that an article clerk I soon became. I wore clean collars and a brand new suit for the pass examination at the Institute. For the pass examination at the Institute. That pass examination did so well for me that now I am the ruler of the Queen's Navy. That pass examination did so well for me that now he is the ruler of the Queen's Navy. Of legal knowledge I acquired such a grip that they took me into the partnership. That junior partnership I ween was the only ship I ever had seen. Was the only ship he ever had seen. But that kind of ship so suited me that now I am the ruler of the Queen's Navy. But that kind of ship so suited me that now he's the ruler of the Queen's Navy. I grew so rich that I was sent by a pocket borough into Parliament. And I always voted at my party's call. I never thought of thinking for myself at all. He never thought of thinking for himself at all. I thought so little they rewarded me by making me the ruler of the Queen's Navy. He thought so little they rewarded me by making him the ruler of the Queen's Navy. Now, landsmen all, whoever you may be, if you want to rise to the top of the tree, if your soul isn't fettered to an office stool, be careful to be guided by this golden rule. Be careful to be guided by this golden rule. Stick close to your desks and never go to sea, and you all may be rulers of the Queen's Navy. Stick close to your desks and never go to sea, and you all may be rulers of the Queen's Navy.
Have you ever heard of Buttercup? Oh, it's such a dear little thing. Oh, Buttercup! General life, information, vegetable, animal, and mineral. I know the kings of England, and I quote the fights historical from Marathon to Waterloo in order categorical. I'm very well acquainted too with matters mathematical. I understand equations both the simple and quadratical. About binomial theorem, I'm teeming with a lot of news. What's that for doing? With many cheerful facts about the square of the hypotenuse. With many cheerful facts about the square of the hypotenuse. With many cheerful facts about the square of the hypotenuse. Calculus. I know the scientific names of beads and animalculus. Shorty man is vegetable, animal and mineral. I am the very model of a modern major general. He's short man is vegetable, animal and mineral. He is the very model of a modern major general. I know I'm mythic history, King Arthur's into Caradox. I answer hard acrostics, I have a pretty taste for paradox. I quote in elegiacs all the crimes of Heliogabalus. In conics I can floor peculiarities, parabolus. I can tell and doubt of Raphael's from Gerard Dazzard's Ophides. I know the croaking chorus from the frogs of Aristophanes. Then I can hum a fugue of which I've heard the music din a four. Pinafore. Got it. Pinafore. It's Pinafore. Pinafore. What on earth is that? Pinafore. And whistle all the airs for that infernal nonsense. Pinafore. And whistle all the airs for that infernal nonsense. Pinafore. And whistle all the airs for that infernal nonsense. Pinafore. And whistle all the airs for that infernal nonsense. I can write a washing bill in Babylonic cuneiform and tell you every detail of character because it's uniform. And draw him out as vegetable, animal, and mineral. I am the very model of a modern major general. He's short him out as vegetable, animal, and mineral. He is the very model of a modern major general. In fact, when I know what is meant, my mammal on that revelin, when I can tell at sight a miser rifle from a javelin, when such affairs are sorties and surprises, I'm more well yet. And when I know precisely what is meant by commissariat. When I have learned what progress has been made in modern gunnery. When I know more of tactics than a novice in a nunnery. In short, when I have a smattering of elemental strategy. Strategy. Oh, God. Strategy. What rhymes with strategy? Nobody knows. Saturday! Great! Saturday! I'll use it! I don't understand it, but I'll use it! They'll say a better Major General has never sat a G! They'll say a better Major General has never sat a G! They'll say a better Major General has never sat a G! They'll say a better Major General has never sat a G! Military knowledge, though I'm plucky and adventure, has only been brought down to the beginning of the century. Still, a man is vegetable, animal, and mineral. I am the very model of a modern major general. Love. 
dust of all privation. You love your pain, spare all you can afford to welcome the little buttercup on board. I'm called little buttercup, dear little buttercup.
press on the risks that on us press and of reference a lack to our chance of coming back. Still, perhaps it would be wise not to carp or criticize, for it's very evident these attentions are well meant. Yes, it's very evident these attentions are well meant. Evident, yes, well meant. Evident, ah, yes, well meant. When the former girls is in the rent of art, the rent of art.
fight the French falal is like hitting other gal. It's a lovely thing for to do. Ooh. And we with all our faults for a sturdy British salt. And she's only a poor polyvoo, do you see? Why, she's only a poor polyvoo. Why, she's only a poor polyvoo. With a helm, and we stand before the breeze, and we give a compassionate cheer. Froggy answers with a shout, because he sees us turn about, which is grateful of the old folks here. You see, which is grateful of the poor folks here. And I'll wager in their joy, they kiss each other's cheeks. <laughs> which is what them foreigners do. And bless the lucky stars, we're hardy British stars, with pity on a poor polyfoo. Do you see? Wait for it. <laughs> 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 Who had pity on a poor Polly Who had pity on a poor Polly Who had pity on a poor Polly Englishman. 